Now, people all in my comments, a gang member wouldn't do this, a gang member wouldn't do that. I thought a gang member wouldn't hang with snitches. Now, notice that hat. That mean he putting it on the hood. But we watch him do it on this internet. I thought a gang banger do, didn't do gay shit. Bangers in your booty, nigga. I'm good. That's gay. Oh, your ass, nigga. They ain't on me. But we watch them do it on the internet. I thought gangbangers didn't discuss gang politics with outsiders. But they fucking do it on the internet. Now y'all allow gang members to break all these different type of gang laws. But you own me because somebody writing a message from jail didn't put enough C's and G's in it? How you know they don't force them to use spell check? I don't know. I do not know. How you know in them years that he been sitting in that jail with nobody giving him a dime, how you know he ain't turned his back on the hood? How you know he wasn't renegade? And then to sit here and tell me so-and-so uh, uh, wouldn't do this or so-and-so wouldn't do that. A uh, such-and-such should have never shot Nip, but he did it. Makes absolutely positively no sense whatsoever. To be honest with you, I'm about to give you my overview of the whole situation, but pretty much I'm done. I'm moving on to my next investigation. And then what's even more funny about this is everybody trying to discredit me, getting a shitload of views off of discrediting me when they could go right on their computer, look him up, and send him a message. They can do that. You ain't got to sit there and talk about why no or react to my messages. You can send them your own message. I personally think that this nigga didn't respond to none of y'all. That's what I personally think. I personally think he not fucking with, he wasn't fucking with none of y'all. And by me being somebody from the outside, maybe it was cool to respond. I don't know. Or maybe y'all never reached out in the first place. But all of this jealousy coming at me is crazy. It's crazy. 